Mr. Chairman, I thank you for holding today's hearing. I am pleased to be joined today by this very distinguished panel of witnesses, and I would like to welcome Mary Ellen Callahan back to the committee for her first time since leaving the department. Here on the Homeland Security Committee, we have understood the need to balance security and privacy for quite some time. Protecting our, nation's 21st, our nation from 21st century threats requires vigorous, coordinated action from our government and state, local, private sector, and international partners. But if we go overboard to identify and eliminate every conceivable threat at any cost, we risk trampling the very rights of citizens we aim to protect. The need to find that proper balance has been a cornerstone of our committee's work on counterterrorism, on transportation security, and certainly on today's topic, cybersecurity. Most of the government's efforts in cybersecurity do not directly touch upon privacy issues, and that is an important distinction that is not made often enough. Many programs, such as the Department of Homeland Security's Einstein program, do not involve the collection or sharing of any kind of personally identifiable information at all. And the vast majority of all of the information needed to thwart cyber uh, attacks consists of technical data, such as IP addresses and malicious code, which has little or nothing to do with someone's social security number or passwords. But where the private sector needs to share information with the government to stop cyber attacks, every precaution must be taken to ensure that the privacy of our citizens is ensured. Last month, we heard from the American Civil Liberties Union on the importance of protecting privacy in cyberspace. And I am pleased that we are joined today by three witnesses who can really speak to the nuts and bolts of challenges protecting private data from both the government and business perspectives. As we look towards crafting our own legislation to help protect critical infrastructure and improve our nation's cybersecurity efforts, it is important to really nail down the specifics of protecting privacy. In order to get our approach to cybersecurity and privacy right, we must examine it from all the angles. We must assess the current legal environment and identify challenges that companies must cope with in ensuring the privacy and security of their employees and customers' data. We must determine the types of information needed by the government to protect, uh, prevent attacks and the intended uses of the, that information. We must examine how commercial cybersecurity providers interact with their customers and the government to share threat information. Thankfully, our witnesses today cover the breadth of these issues with their testimony. I am particularly pleased we are joined by Harriet Pearson, who is one of the Fortune 1000's first chief privacy officers and has been a trailblazer for developing information policies and practices for protecting the private data of employees and customers, excuse me, consumers. Every American values their privacy and civil liberties as well as their security in cyberspace. And I'm confident that in building a lasting solution to our cyber insecurity, we can adopt measures that will satisfy privacy advocates, the business community, and our citizens. That ends uh, my statement, Mr. Chairman, and I yield back the balance of my time. <laughs> 